We've got our first Division 2 match. It's going to be TNC taking on Summit Game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's, uh, he's also just going to walk up to the high ground oh. in the four heroes of TNC. No, don't hit. Don't hit. Can play it perfectly. Oh. It will not matter as he does oh, not oh, escape oh, your way. Oh, they're able to deal with this combo as... Unknown's actually going to take a lot of damage here. Still doesn't have at least a point in the mana shield. Not that it'll help out too much. And with the snowball pass, the Wyvern. To be able to have that cold embrace. To be able to outlast the Now mid lane as well. Shot. Mercury's going to need some TPs raining on in. And a beautiful double nice, earth back from CZY. Sets up for the split earth as well. They might be able to get Chris, but Carlo is still hunting the tree line. Inkswell, enough damage to find the kill onto the left track. And TNC. From lane, Trazam. Double snowball. Bok. See if he's going to feel like it's forced to drop the black hole. Probably not. He's got two points in the Melfus, a couple of Eidolons, with the help of the only level one in the tag team. That's still in bottom lane. Actually look to go high ground. Double smoke, Chris and Carlo combining together. They've got the double damage rune as well, so they're onto unknown. Cotton Bray's going to buy him a little bit of time. CZY is able to rotate over, but once again, the shards, and they've got to be cautious because Bok has a punish to oh, the single Mercury. Time. Carlo and Mavis, the duo supports combining together, trying to bring down Mercury, and they're going to be successful. And Carlo, he'll even be able to Trazam live for this as well. TP? Trazam TPs into three heroes on TNC, so feeding away another kill. And they're going to try. Well, not Carlo will take it. They've got a sentry in the river. Aiming towards the left track, it's a defensive use to the arena. We'll give Mercury enough time to be able to get out, but Krish still on hot pursuit. Zips to the high gun, back and forth. He secures the kill, but he's out of mana. CZY zaps him down from afar, so in the end, a one for one, but across the map, unknown, he gets killed off. And I essentially said, look, even if they hit the perfect blink black hole and you've got the Omni Slash onto him, blah, 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 you just cold embrace the Medusa and you're probably going Ooh. to be fine. Blame. Bit of a dive attempt. Crush going to be off the mark with the spear. And while Carlo is not off the mark, shards to block the retreat. They're going to be cautious. They group up. Trazam drops the curse. It might buy enough time. Well, in fact, not going to be the case. Is Carlo. Like, there's not too much more that you can expect out of him. And he's got a blink dagger. He's and he's even trying to get a kill mid. Well, the Chris could have looked to rotate over. BKB popped. Early commitment onto Mercury, but they'll blow him up. Community. Off to the northern side, though. Crush trying to break the fight in half of the arena. Should be able to kill off Mavis easily. But back to the left track. It's, it's just going to be super good, right? As long as you've got that... Uh, Carlo. He's going to say Mercury alone. The BKB is going to do nothing, my friend. But the TP started to come through from the T2 tower. Let's see if Mercury's going to be able to stay alive for that long. But as soon as the Nihilism expires, Yowei, he can step in the middle, provide plenty of damage to get rid of the last track. Crush is too late to the party. Drop to Arena. Unknown's going to be able to follow in, but be cautious now. The threat of the black hole, it's up in 15 seconds. Krish needs to deal with the supports. He's going to target the line for the moment at the back line. They get the Wyvern. They got the Wyvern, so there's no way to reveal himself. BKP still on cooldown, A on disc on cooldown as well, and Crush, you gotta hope he's got a buyback, but he doesn't. And now unknown. Oh, oh, the yeah, soul he's, so oh, he's in trouble. I'm gonna the last second. The man is uh, that's, that's, that's just gonna be game. That's just game. Steps too far. Another pick off. Went and bought the Aghanim shot as well on the last round. Jump Mercury, there we go. Box in. A single black hole. There's gonna be no answer as the crits that's come good. through thick and fast and yeah, that's looking like it's game. We are back with our second game. TNC taking on the open qualified team in Summit Gaming. Going to try and protect up here on the top side. Oh, Mercury still ends up bottling it, but might fall down here. He's got a through. Oh, Krish, he might be killed off though. Tolkien East is under the tower. Still got the remnant to... Oh, trying to try and close the distance. He can use a defensive arena if required. They're even going to cancel the TP. It looks like Crush still will go down nonetheless. Arena used at the last second. Now Mercury's able to close. To the Doom comes out, but the Pulse Nova is still ticking. They have to respect the damage from the last track. Careful about diving under the town. That will not be required as Chris rotates over. Sly is enough to secure the kill. CZY actually goes back in with the Remnant, but off to the side, they're able to bring down Trazam. So there we go, TNC. All their important Fight. heroes, you can see Yoe. Popping the blur as he's looking to make the retreat back to the lane. Oh, they're onto the Ember. Carlo needs to try and disrupt the combination, but there's nothing he can do to protect his core. And he too will join him in the arms. See Yoe. Oh no, Mr. Yoe. TPs are starting to rain here, but it will not matter. What? 
spot is a damage. But there we go. He frees up an item spot. He'll need to make the biggest play he can. Well, they might be able to get the Mars as well simultaneously. Doom's going to get dropped by the secret shot. He just picked up from a no no. Chris is still going to run the back inside the pit, but he's out of mana. No way to escape. They're going to try Kyle into the back lines, able to find the Rubik. Double Dooms out as well onto the less track. It's honestly a decent start to the fight. They stole the Doom though, so CZY, a little taste of his own medicine, back on to Mr. Carlo. And yeah, it was nice. It was a good combo. It was a beautiful wrap round, but in the end, at three for one, you don't even bring down the ages. Okay. Got to be pretty perfect with your chain control. Box gonna oh, jump no, bop, bop, in. Bop, All right, bop, well, bop. and a crush follows through as well. Lacking. Box gonna kick the Medusa into the middle of the fight, but that is exactly where Unknown wants to be positioning. The buybacks are starting to rain in, but I don't think it matters anymore. You had this one opportunity, it, and not okay. Oh, well, okay. On TNC right now, just because of how far behind you are. Summit. They're playing under the ward. They're gonna look to blow up the Medusa. Chris dealing with the backline supports as well. Look at no, its damage. Rips apart the Doom. Yoe is really hesitant to jump. Finally, he's gonna show his cards. It's a lot of damage under the Medusa for the moment. The man is being burnt, but Yoe is charging to the middle. One more shot. Gets the Phantom Assassin, and with that kill, that will be all she wrote for our second game. We are going the distance here for our last game of the TNC vs. Summit series. A battle Especially for the with water the two rune. points in Shackle. Oh, who's going to get the rune? Carlo looks like he picks it up, but instantly with the battery salt, gets rid of the Shackle's opportunity. Now, CZY being on the high ground, Mavis as well has shown up to the party. A couple more right clicks, but Mavis hasn't about diving under the tower. I Meanwhile, well, Trezem still getting chased. Carlo has got another Shackles back up. It's two points in the Shackles as well. So Chris has got to be cautious. They're going to be baiting Chris at the moment. Bit. But yeah, Chris, he doesn't have the level six. In goes the Ember Spirit, but maybe he's overplayed his hand. Crush popped out a drag. Looks like just a farming ulti. Should have the magic damage to go through him. He's pretty close to the T1 tower, but the rotations can come through. Double Bracer with the wand. He's actually more tanky than I was expecting. Sandy fight. Oh, poor Crush. Never Carlo that has to enter. It is daytime, but can always pogo stick on forward. And Chris going to look to rotate down as well to offer the damage required. He's targeting Trezam at the moment. Hook shot into the middle, trapping them inside with the cogs. But Carlo, the Serpent Ward's on top of the stand line. Unknown's going to walk up as well. They bring their numbers to take the fight on Summit, but Unknown, he's got to respect the damage coming through for the Undy. But well, Bok they do it for Afu on SMG. Carlo this time around was given Davis? two full creep waves on the bottom side. Going to be caught in the river. There we go. Hook shot with the Inkswell combination, but the damage again, it's lacking when the ne Nether Ward is dropped. A long zip hit from Krish. They will be able to secure with the first. Onto the second they go. Krish is it crazy. Was Carlo. Now they're onto the Ember as well. Atos to set up. Carlo is able to enter the fight. The chain control is perfect, but the answer is going to come through. The blink reveal from Krush. Unknown's showing up as well. They're going to look to play around mid. They get the D ward on the high ground. Into oh, the no. Dragonite they go. Trezan's going to try and counter initiate. The Soulvine is out, disrupting the backline, but it looks like it's not going to do enough. Crush still really is killing off. from the Firestorm at this point, though, right? Like, a, a DK Mercury? doesn't kill the Chris is playing with an Arcane Brew. Once again, the chain control. Atos to start. Pit to follow. Carlo with the Hex. This goddamn Pogo stick. Uh, well, he's going this Aghanim Shard build again, which I like, but he actually went for the Healing Ward cooldown instead of the Blade Fury duration at oh, level 15. Mid lane, Bok. He's taking a lot of damage to start. Unexpected burst potential. The life drain's not going to be enough to keep him alive. So a one for one to start as Mercury deals with Mavis on the back line. But you have to respect Yahweh and the damage coming through from the tiny. Unknown protective for the moment, but Summit is going to look to try and retreat out. What's going on in the back? That is quickly as he can. They got to go now. They're going to do so. Just waiting for him to step over the mark. The Pogo into the instant hex. Mercury gets out though. They didn't want to try and control him off the back of the shackles. And now die. They've entered the fight. Crush is falling lower and lower. Protected for the decrep. That is beautiful I, 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 from Mavis. And die, they got to get out. Summit, you cannot stick around now for the longer drawn out fight. Giving the mana back to Krish. Long zip on the high ground. Utilizing the arcane route, but he's going to get penalized for it. 
entering Summit's territory. Now Mercury wants to hit back onto another supporter. Carlo, easy pickings. Box the next on the Engendra. BKB, TPR. Remnant into the middle. Instantly, Mercury's going to try and deal with the backup. It's of the Juggernaut's in trouble. The double vortex and all the cleave damage. Oh, no, no. Still a alive. Ward, the though. healing ward will keep the Juggernaut healthy. Now, he might be able to go back in afterwards. Once again, TNC expending a lot to start the fight. Meanwhile, the backline has been ripped apart, but they still got to be cautious as Yolwe gets the chain control. But the Ember's going to buy back. Oh, Lord. Once again, ran inside the pit. They were able to bring down the Underlord at the start of the fight. And now Chris doesn't have mana as well. This is a He's really good Roche. scenario. They're going to Omni Slash Roshan. I don't even pop Fika before it as well. It's going to be able to snatch the Aegis. Yo, it now needs to TP out. Yeah. Don't let him get it. Oh, you're going to let Mercury get it. But do they have the damage with just these heroes? Yo, we sending the wings. Waiting for an opportunity to pounce, but now with the back line, you're going to be cautious to your group up because Mercury jumps the Pogna. Now he's going to be on to Carlo as well. Meanwhile, in the river, Buck just gets ripped apart as TNC overstepped the boundary. Summit show up in big fashion and find three heroes with their pants. He's going to jump there, all grouped up under the wall. Look at the four book shot as well. Running into Buck. Unknown's going to be able to join the fight, but the Tiny's getting ripped apart. He's trying to stand his ground on your way, but is the damage really going to be enough to turn the fight? It looks like it's not. A summit. Vision once again winning games as Mercury's hunting Mavis now. Chains the hold back the retreat, but the rest of Summit be able to haul up once again around the triangle to take the fight as Yolwei charging in blind. He doesn't see anyone on Summit. You'd hate to force out an early BKB, but he's going to be put in that position to do so. Mercury just tearing apart the backline one by one. He's out of mana. Now with the damage, Yolwei's starting to pump in, but it will not matter. She's out of the last second. Yolwei's gone. Box the next to fall as well by the tier three tower. It's Summit. It. They're doing it! They're taking it! He's got a refresh shot. Jump into the middle, seeing if he can catch out any of the supports, but they are super split on Summit, making sure there is a no crazy combo potential to turn this game around. The supports need to reveal themselves to protect the jug, because they're not clumping up on the back line. They're always hunting. Avatos finds one support. Chris gonna try and deal with the other as well. There's the combo. Enough, get rid of the clockwork. But now you're always outside the base, and with the leash combining two heroes together, that's a die back on your way. Now the hook shot back in onto Carlo, and they're gonna call it quits as the open qualifier team taking TNT down two to one.